Perry County has 14 covered bridges crossing the many slowly moving creeks and streams. Rice's Bridge crosses Sherman's Creek in Tyrone Township near Landisburg. A 132-foot bridge was built around 1870. The roadway is laid with 16-foot planks. As is the case with many of Perry County's covered bridges, steel I-beams reinforce the bridge work to give access to heavier traffic. Just below the falls at Bixler's Run near Loysville is Wagner's Bridge. The structure was built in 1889 at a cost of only $1,100. Now closed to traffic, the 17-foot wide, 84-foot long structure uses the familiar Burr Arch construction. On May 23, 1947, the bridge was given to the care of the Historical Society of Perry County. The Enslow Bridge over Sherman's Creek would be an excellent spot for a picnic or quiet reflection. The 118-foot bridge sits well off the main road. It was built in 1904 at a cost of $2,200. Another bridge well off the beaten path is Bistline Bridge. The structure shows its age, well over 100 years old. The Burr Bridge is 96 feet long and is reinforced with two steel I-beams. To get this shot of the Mount Pleasant Bridge, our photographer got his feet wet. One of the newer bridges in Perry County, it was built in 1918. The 73-foot bridge spans Sherman's Creek near New Germantown. Here is proof of what steel reinforcement can do. This is the view of Sherman's Creek looking out of Book's Bridge. Built in 1884 using Burr construction, the bridge is 70 feet long and 17 feet wide. There's a covered bridge somewhere in this picture. Can you find it? Well, it's right there. Nobody's going over this bridge today. The Kokenderfer Bridge crosses the Big Buffalo Creek and sits parallel to the bridge that replaced it. it makes a perfect place to store a load of hay. The bridge was built in 1919 at a cost of $2,400. Still on the Big Buffalo Creek, these are the piers of the Seville Covered Bridge. Overall length is 60 feet with two plies of two inch oak planking on the floor. Clay's Bridge calls Little Buffalo State Park its home. The bridge originally crossed the Little Buffalo Creek. When the park was built, it was moved to its present location within the park. The Burr Span Bridge was built in 1890. 
This red bridge is called Red Bridge. It crosses the Wildcat Creek. But that's about all it crosses because the bridge is no longer in service. Overall length of the bridge is 55 feet. It was constructed in 1886. Everyone knows 1948 was a good year for a paint job. This is the largest of the covered bridges in Perry County, the Delville Bridge. It is 20 feet wide and crosses Sherman's Creek with a span of almost 175 feet. Originally built in 1889, again the Burr Arch construction is found. In 1932, the center pier was added for the support of heavier load capacities. This is Adair's covered bridge located near Cisna Run. One of the larger bridges at 150 feet. It was built in Civil War times about 1864 then in 1919 was rebuilt. The planking on the floor is three inch oak laid crosswise. Under the floor of the bridge are five steel I-beams and three piers. This in the water shot is Sherman's Creek near New Germantown. The new Germantown Bridge crosses here. The bridge originally was constructed in 1891. It uses a 12-foot roadway and has 2-inch by 16-foot planking laid lengthwise on the floor. Reinforcement is provided by twin I-beams. This looks like an excellent fishing spot, but on our visit to the new Germantown Bridge, we didn't see any fishermen crossing, just various branches of the constabulary. The last of Perry County's covered bridges crosses the Big Buffalo Creek. Fleischer's Bridge was built in 1887 at an original cost of only $1,595. The roadway is 13 feet wide and has a length of 125 feet. In 1960, two 30-inch I-beams were added to give the bridge a 7-ton limit. You've just seen the 14 remaining covered bridges in Perry County as of 1991. Now some parting views of Perry County on a bridge. <laughs>